What's going on everyone, Matt here from the Matt Film Show. Welcome guys back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys like, and let's get right into today's video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on Shazam, Fury of the Gods. So let's get right into it. Um, this movie is a sequel to the 2019 hit film Shazam. I love Shazam. I love the first movie. Um, I was very skeptical about this movie because of um, DC at that time was not making great movies, you know, I mean, there's a lot of DC films that I enjoyed, like Aquaman, right, I did love Aquaman, and, and uh, Wonder Woman, but other ones, I kind of disliked, like Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, I was not a fan of those, uh, uh, so, we were at the point where DC would sometimes make great movies, and sometimes not so great movies, you know what I mean, so I did not know what I was going to expect from Shazam. You know, I was very skeptical when I first saw Shazam. Um, so I saw it there and I loved it, man. I love Shazam. Uh, I love Zachary Levi. Uh, Zachary Levi uh, is great at Shazam. And, uh, uh, and uh, he does an amazing job at Shazam. In the first one, and as well in the in the sequel, Fury of the Gods. Uh, Helen Merritt, uh, you know, I D mean? yes, D Helen Merritt. Uh, she, she's like a, I think the the grandmother of of of. Uh, I think she's the grandmother of uh, Dominic Toretto, Fast and Furious. She's old and and she's in this movie. She's a like a super villain in this movie. So it's very, very cool to see her as a bad guy, as a villain in this movie, uh, and a superhero film. I would never expect Helen Mary to be in a movie like this, but she is. So it's very fun to see her do a movie like this. You know what I mean? See her Fast and Furious now, a movie like this. It's, it's very cool to see her like this. Uh, but never thought it would happen, but I did. This movie is very fun. It's very enjoyable. Uh, you got, uh, the cast is great. Uh, Asher Angel, uh, who played uh, Barry Allen in the first one, so he plays Barry, Barry Allen. <sighs> Billy Batson, I don't even know why I said Barry Allen. Billy Batson in the first one, so I've come back to play Billy Batson here in the sequel as well, reprising his role as Billy Batson. But now Asher Angel's a little bit older, right? He's a little bit older now. Uh, I think when the first Shazam came out, he's like a little kid. Now he's a little bit older now. So, uh, I'm sure that Billy Batson, as, as, I'm not really familiar with Shazam, so I'm not really sure if Billy Batson stays as a kid or something like that. So, uh, if if they continue this movie going forward, which I don't know what's happening with the DC with James Gunn, but if, if, you know what I mean? Uh, but if this movie continues and they make a third one, if they do, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe Billy Bats is going to be a little bit older now because an actor, you know what I mean? But I do not know if Billy Bats is always is a kid, you know, stays as a kid and then obviously transforms to an adult, which Shazam probably they're going to have, to, if they ever make a third one, they're going to probably have to have a new actor for Billy Bats, is my guess. You know, since uh, Asher Angel is growing up, right? But, he was great as Billy Batson, right? It's great to see him again back in this one as well. Uh, great to see the Shazam family. Uh, Grace Caroline did an amazing job as Mary, uh, what was her name? Mary Marvel, or that's, that was her name. Uh, Rachel Zangler uh, did an amazing job as Athena. And she, she was great as Athena. She's going to play Snow White in the live action adaptation of Snow White next year in March. So it'll be cool to see uh 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 see her as Snow White as well. She did a great job here. I'm sure she will do a great job as Snow White at Disney's Life Action Remake. Uh this movie was so much fun, but I believe that James Gunn announcing Well before this movie is not doing good at the box office, right? This movie is not doing great at the box office. And um, I think a lot of it has to do... The movie's great. 
Shazam, The Fear of the Gods is a great movie. I do not know why it's doing bad at the box office. I do not know why. But I think it has to do with James Gunn. I think that James Gunn announcing his plans for DC at the end of January of earlier this year affected that. Because I think he should have waited until these films came out. Because if, if, if James Gunn's plans to reboot everything, right? Now, there is no confirmation. Now, we do not know. He did say that some actors are staying and some actors are getting recast. So we do not know who's staying. We do not know who's being recast or who's staying. We do know that Superman's being recast. We do know there's going to be a new Batman for the Brave of the Bold movie, right? But we do not know if these actors are reprised of the world. We do not know if Gil Gadot is still Wonder Woman. We do not know, right? So, I feel like, like they should have waited until at least Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom came out. Right? Because I think this year's Shazam, uh, Blue Beetle comes out in August, and in December is, is uh, Aquaman at the Lost Kingdom. I would have wished that they should would have waited until after Lost Kingdom to announce his plans. Because I think this affected it, and people are like, you know what? Why am I going to go watch Shazam, Fear of the Gods? Why am I going to go watch Blue Beetle? Why am I going to go watch Aquaman at the Lost Kingdom? If all they're going to do is just recast at the end of the day, they're most likely going to recast these characters. These actors are not going to continue. These movies are not going to continue. So what's the whole point of me spending money to watch these movies if they're not going to continue, right? That's if. They're not going to, we do not know yet. So I kind of feel like it's a, it was a bad choice for them, to, for James Gunn and Peter Sanford to announce the slate in January before Shazam came out before Aquaman, before Blue Beetle came out. Because if these characters are going to continue, if they do or not, if these actors continue to play these roles, if there's new actors portraying Aquaman or Shazam, or whatever if the case is, right? I kind of feel like that hurt the box office for Shazam. There's a lot of people that did not want to go see Shazam because they felt like, why are we going to go watch it if they're going to recast it anyway? If they're not going to continue this movie, why am I going to go watch it? That's why I feel why the movie failed at the box office. I think that's why. Because this movie is great. It's a great movie, guys. If you guys have thoughts, go watch Shazam. Go watch it. It's a fun movie. You're going to enjoy it. Fun family movie. It's a really great movie. You love the first Shazam, you're going to love this even more. Trust me. I love this movie. This movie's great, man. This movie's great. But it was great to see this. And, and uh, if, we, if this is the last time, man, you know, if this is the last time we're going to see Shazam in the, at, as the character, we do not know. We might see Shazam continue. Or, or see Zachary Levi as Shazam. If this is the last time we see him as, as Shazam, He did a great job. He was great at Shazam. And if he doesn't continue, it is what it is. He doesn't continue. Uh, hopefully he does. If he doesn't, I'll be fine with it. I can't get mad. You can't get mad. I know a lot of people were upset that they were, they were, they were that Henry Cavill was no longer Superman. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people were upset. I was upset too. Because I was very excited for Henry Cavill to come back and now they would say, oh yeah, he's not coming back. I think that's kind of messed up how they did that to him. But at the end of the day, it might be for the better good. You know what I mean? So if secondly, was no longer Shazam. They find a new actor. It is what it is. You know, I enjoyed this movie. You don't like this movie, like I said. Go watch it, man. If you have not had a chance to watch Fury of the Gods, go watch Shazam. Really do go watch this movie. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit the like subscribe if you guys like and I'll see you guys on the next video peace out